Well, good morning, my friends. It's your old pal, Jordan the Lion. How are you today, Lionhearts? Did you guys enjoy our trip to Paris? Let me tell you about what happened when I left. Okay. So at the beginning of the video, I mentioned I had decided to go with basically an organized form of hitchhiking. Uh, I found a, a website where someone, if they're traveling through, sometimes they'll pick you up and take you to wherever you're going or wherever they're going. Well, I'm going to Ghent. I was going from Paris to Ghent. The person that picked me up, very cool guy, he was attending his grandfather's funeral up in West Paris, was coming back to Brussels. I thought that he was going to drop me off in Ghent. He wasn't. He dropped me off in Brussels. Now the problem with that is that Brussels is an hour east of Ghent. And Ghent is not a massive city or anything, so the trains all stop running at a certain time at night. And he immediately got me worried because he goes, we're not going to get you to that train station in Brussels until midnight. I don't think you'll be able to catch a train to Ghent. I looked all over the place online. I couldn't find um, any trains or anything that went. So finally I just said, you know what, I'll deal with it when I get there because the worst case scenario, and I mean it is a very worst case scenario, is that um, I would have to wait six hours at the bus terminal and it's cold. There's no doors, there's no nothing. So it's basically where all the homeless people hang out because it's a little bit of, just a little bit of uh, protection. So anyway, I get there at 11.55, find out there's a train, two trains leaving, one at 12, one at 12.30. So I run up to the platform and there are two girls there. The one girl's on her phone, the one girl's not. And I go up to the girl not on her phone. I said, will these get me to Ghent? And she said, not the one I'm taking, but if you go with her, she's my friend, she's going to Ghent. So that girl comes over, we end up talking for like an hour. Then we get on the train, we talk. Um, and at the end, she actually says, where are you gonna be for Christmas? And I said, I'll be in Ohio with my family. She said, well, there's always room for you here in Belgium if you want to come spend it with us. I'll, I'll make room at my apartment for you, uh, or I'll make room for you here. So I was like, that's really nice. Um, so all's well that ended well. I ended up getting back to my hostel at 2 a.m. on the nose um, from Paris. Great day. I hope you guys enjoyed it. That was number one on my bucket list. Only thing left now is to replace that number one with staying in the actual Oscar Wilde suite in room 14 where he stayed with the same wallpaper that he was having the duel to the death with. All right, so now we're in Ghent. Let's go explore the city. Days with Jordan the Lion begins now. I saw this the other day and I said, you know what? I'm coming over during the daylight and showing this, this mural. Let me sh actually, how do I show you all this? It's pretty massive, but this, there's stuff all over that's really worth checking out. So let's get a little closer. Then all the way at the top, you can see over there in the corner is a, I don't know if that's a cardinal or what kind of religious figure that is, but very nice. And it's all over this building, so it actually looks like it's, you know, the building is, that's all bursting out of the building. See, there's a horse up there in that part. And then right here, I love it. All right, where do we start today, my friends? Where do we start? Let's go see if this is open. I'd like to go inside there. Oh, I'm gonna have to change lenses to show you guys the roof of this building or this gables up there, but geez, that is awesome. This is called St. Nicholas Church. Wow, look at all the coat of arms and all the art on the walls. Oh wow, that's magnificent, isn't it? Wow, this is beautiful. Oh, you don't even have to be religious to enjoy this. 
It certainly doesn't hurt, but you don't have to. See that? 1448. I love the music. Giving me a soundtrack to my video. Look at that, wow, isn't that amazing? Well, this is interesting. Kind of a modern building right here in the middle of all this. A couple of statues, a little bit of the Christmas market starting up over there, and a freaking bell. That's an interesting statue. Well, I mean, I think it's a fountain, but no water or anything happening, so. Interesting. There's no story or anything written there, so I don't really know what the deal is. And that's St. Nicholas where we were just at. So now I think I want to head over here and go take a look inside this. Wow, he's a big fella. So here's an interesting little tidbit to where we're gonna go in now, which is the Ghent Belfry. And it says right there that in 1313, the people of Ghent began to build the belfry and designated it as the city's proudest symbol of independence. In those days, merely the lower half of the present tower was built. You can see they started building that. And then it says, uh, finally at the start of the 20th century, the tower was crowned with the present peak. The heavily guarded tower still preserves the civic privileges which Ghent received in 1180. In 1999, the belfry was added to the prestigious list of UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Let's go on in, right? 
And apparently part of this building was once used as a jail as well. All right, well I just paid eight euros for the tour to walk through this whole place, so we're gonna do it. And apparently you can, uh, you can go up to the top of the belfry and they actually have a elevator, so I'll do it. All right, here we go. Interesting. Now he told me there's a massive music box up here. Like massive. Oh wow. Look at that, that thing's huge. Interesting. A lot of detail. Keep going up. Oh wow, look at all the bells. And here's where I start taking the elevator. <laughs> I think I might stop at every floor so I can see everything, but those stairs are a little too thin and narrow for this guy. There it is. That's the music box. That's Those are the bells we've been hearing in the last couple videos of Ghent. Been playing from this. Isn't that great? Now let's see what this is. There we go. Yikes, I'm almost, it's pretty thin. Wow, this is high. Beautiful city though. All right, here we go, we're on another side now. God dang, this is high. Here's another one. Basically making our way all the way around. All the way around the belfry. And pretty much all the way around the city town, too, now. Oh, perfect timing. Just as I'm getting ready to leave, it starts up. And you ought to see the uh, music boxes they're selling in the gift shop. They play like, Here Comes the Sun, Imagine, Yellow Submarine, Singing in the Rain, stuff like that. Look, here's the big bell that ends up going off. Let's see if we can get in there and get a look. We're back at that model, and look how many bells they have at the very top. Isn't that crazy? And that's where we are, or we were. We were walking around those. All right, sir, we're out of here. We'll see you later. See you on the flip side. Oh yeah. All right, now we have to head down on these really, really tiny stairs. And all the stairs in Europe, especially where, I'm, where I've been going, are all like this. That's why if you wonder why I didn't go all the way up into the Belfry and Bruges, it's because I'm not doing 380 stairs like this. All those little caverns down in there. And this is the last part that we have to see. Beautiful. I do like that over here on the wall they have a lot of the weaponry. Crossbows, mace, axes, spears.
And I like these windows too. They're kind of all over the place. I mean, they, they surround most of this room. Yeah. It's weird now to go back to Los Angeles and think of that being history when it's only 120 years old, or 150. All right, gang, let's move it along. Let's go see what else Ghent has for us today. What an interesting experience. Even the Smurfs are selling chocolate in Belgium. Gotta love it. I wonder if that has anything to do with Glengarry Glen Ross. Well, I'd like to thank a few Patreons today. Donna Hyde, Francine Long Scott, and Yolanda de la Zerda. Thank you so much. Everyone else, we'll see you all tomorrow here from Ghent. Goodbye.